up out there? Marty Schwartz here with GuitarJams.com. I'm going to show you a little double stop trick that's going to, I'm going to show you three different modes of the exact same thing. Three different ways to use this little concept here. The first way is going to be over a minor, in a minor setting. So, and that's what I was just playing there. We got an A minor bar chord. minor kind of chord, you're going to get this. You're going to cover the, we want to play the fifth fret of the G and the high E. And I use my index finger to just bar across, but I'm not doing anything with this B string. Not doing it, just playing the G and the high E. And so you can pluck them together, like with your thumb and middle finger. Or you can um, pick each one individually. That's what we're going to do. So if you think A minor, you can play that little bit right there. Then you can always move that up a whole step. Same thing. Just like that. So, so far we've got that. Move it up a whole step and we got that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to move it up a half step. And my middle finger is going to come down onto the ninth fret of the G. So this is the other shape that we want to use. And if we're in just a straight up natural A minor kind of thing, meaning like an A minor and a D minor, then we're going to play on the tenth fret, the G and the high E on the tenth fret. Then we have this shape here where we're playing the fourth fret on the G and the third fret on the high E, and we have that. Oops, sorry. So if I just play this A minor chord loop, oop. So that's going to work for that. Now, if the relative major of A minor, you can just go up three letters from the minor and you'll get the relative major. A, B, C. So you can play this exact same thing in the mode of C major, or C Ionian is what it's called, and you're going to use all the same concepts but over a C major. So if I play just a regular C major progression, and I'll loop it.
same concept over C major instead. So you can plug in that same concept. Let's start it with this one. Uh, the last one is, is actually really cool. We're going to use the exact same concept, but over a G7. So instead of like C major, C happy princesses and flowers, now we have G blues, a G blues sound, like a G7 chord. And those same concepts are going to work. But this one right here, you have the exact same thing a whole step down. And then these two are the same a whole step apart from 12 to 10. Watch, we gotta change our ear now to hear a G7 as the tonal center. Another little flavor saver for you. Uh, you can always sign my email list down there, get a free ebook, and I'll send you some really cool, uh, high quality lessons to you. Always appreciate that support. And that's it. We'll see you real soon, all right?